Hi, everybody. Just wanted to see what everyone was doing. Check in on everybody. See how everybody is feeling for this new moon. And if you're feeling like me right now, it's just kind of like, um, hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, my insomniacs. How is this new moon energy treating you guys? Hi, Jess. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to talk about this new moon energy. <clears throat> now, I don't know if anybody else is feeling like this, like they're at a crossroads in their lives, like they don't know which way they're going to go and what they're doing with their life. Um, I'm feeling a strong sense of like, there's this thing that happens with my spirit guides, like this little dance we do where... Um, there's this little dance I do with my spirit guides and they'll give me messages and I want to talk about this because I'm sure other people go through this. I cannot be the only one, um, especially those who connect to their spirit guides a lot. Um, <clears throat> they'll give me messages, right? Angel numbers, signs, synchronicities, and I'll be like, oh, okay. That's cool, that's cool. And then they'll say something out of nowhere, like, you need to take up something in school and learn something. And then I I have this issue. I don't know if anybody else ever has this issue where they cannot seem to choose one path that they want to take. I'm not a type of person who wants to have to choose one path and focus on one thing because I get easily bored. So I want to have different um, paths. I want to do different things. I'm not trying to do one thing forever because I'm good at so many things. So, um, for instance, like I want to do just a bunch of things. Like I'm, I don't need to sit here and tell you everything I want to do, but I have this one thing with my spirit guides that I do this like little dance with. And I'm like, like I'm on a path to one thing and then I work hard at it and it's nothing's happening. Like there's no progression, right? And it irritates me. It gets me upset. And then I'll have a whole day where I'm like, what the fuck? And then they keep telling me to honor my humanness. And then I wonder. And this is what I'm just going to, you know, speak to you guys about what I'm feeling. I don't know if anybody else goes through this. Then I'm wondering, you want me to honor my humanness. But when I was being a full human, I was a hot mess. So <laughs> for me, there's no in between. It's either I'm full throttle into the spiritual shit or I honor my humanness. I do whatever the fuck I want. And... I don't give a fuck about nobody else. Because being a human is being selfish. Let's just really be... Let's really keep it a buck, I feel. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't start... Like, I always cared about people and loved people. But when I started doing this, it really made me see the beauty in our flaws. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I tell my spirit guys all the time, you want me to honor my humanness. But, like, if I stop focusing fully on this, then I focus on whatever I'm doing. Then I'm doing whatever I want. <coughs> right. <clears throat> so I struggle with this big time and then I struggle with another thing. And I'm going to speak about this because when I talk about things, I release them and I have nobody to talk to. And that's, I'm not saying that in a sad way. Um, people don't call you to see if you're okay when you're a healer. It just doesn't happen. And that's okay. I'm good with that. That's how I know I'm strong because people don't check on me. <laughs> so I'm good. Right. Um, And I realized this, like for this weekend, right? For instance, you know, I wanted to go out, I wanted to hang out, I want to have a good time, I want to do something. Um, but here's the crazy thing. Does anybody else have this where you look at your phone and like you, you love everyone, you're friends with mad people, but none of them are close to you? Or is that so strange that, that the people that I'm closest to are far, far away from me? <clears throat> like <clears throat> it would have to be <clears throat> a flight and like a whole trip to go see somebody to chill with for me to have a good time like there's nobody on my phone list around me even close in the vicinity of me that I could call and want to call and be like yo what's good where are you at let's hang out this weekend let's go out I'll pay for everything let's just go do something right I don't have that the people on my lists are all far as fuck like it's an airplane ride a train ride a car ride like, I don't have that around me, you know? And I'm in upstate New York, and, um, you know, it's not that far from the city. Like, I, for me, I'm, I'm a Virgo. I do, I, I do a lot of things on my own. I'll go 
I went ice skating on my own the other day. I just went by myself, took a cab there, went ice skating, left my phone at home. Well, I didn't leave my phone at home. I left my phone away. Like, I put it away. And I was ice skating for like an hour and a half just by myself. And I was like, and I swear to you, um, don't get it twisted. I'm not one of those girls who's like, I wish I had a guy with me. Fuck all that. I don't give a fuck. I don't want. I'm good. I, if it happens, it happens. I'm not bitter, right? But <clears throat> I wasn't thinking that. I was just thinking like, <clears throat> are people so scared of this COVID shit that we're just going to be locked in our houses forever? Because I'm not with that. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with staying in my home forever i'm not okay with people not linking up anymore i'm not okay with people not getting together anymore i was gonna rent to airbnb this weekend on friday or saturday and like probably in like manhattan or brooklyn because they're so cheap everywhere you could rent literally a whole condo for like 140 bucks that's crazy and you have like eight people there to chill and then like i'm like what are, like are people gonna like be too afraid to like come like are we gonna let this like I can't live like this. Like, I can't stay scared, tucked away forever. Like, this shit gonna have to clear up real soon because I got shit to do. Like, <clears throat> I don't know who else is feeling this way, but I'm the type of person when I start getting bored and start getting like, okay, I'm getting antsy now. I'm I, like, <clears throat> like, I almost talked to God today. I was like, listen, I'm not trying to be a brat or nothing, but like, are we gonna, like, is this gonna happen? Are we moving forward with this or are we gonna be COVID forever? Because. I can't live like this no more. Like, we're going to sit around with masks on our whole lives. Like, I don't even want to go out because I have to wear a mask. I don't like wearing a mask. <sighs> Listen, <clears throat> I wear it for one reason, because I have respect for people, right? I have respect for elderly people. I have respect for people in the streets. I have respect. But, like, bro, <laughs> today I had one of those days where I woke up frustrated, like, what the fuck? Like, it's a new moon. Maybe that's what it is. Like, what is going on? And like I said, I'm just talking about it because I'm sure people feel this way. And, you know, I'm talking about how I feel. And me being a person who's very, very, like, today, very calm and very, like, I can, like, calm myself down. Like, think smart and be smart about stuff. I still was like, yo, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, this shit is crazy. Like, we're going to have to, like, get a move on, spirit guides. Like, what is going on? And, are we, like, I, I ask my spirit guides every day. I'm like, yo, do I have to worry? Like, because people are paranoid. They're scared. Like, we're going to die. Get canned foods and shit. And I'm not worried about that. But I was when I was in my paranoid state of mind. I'm not paranoid about that anymore. All I'm saying is, like, I don't want to speak, you know, it's the weekends coming, like, I, it's not that I want to go clubbing, like, a little kid or none of that shit, but, like, I would like to get together with people and <clears throat> enjoy myself, talk, laugh, giggle, you know, we can always get together on Zooms and shit, like, but, yo, I don't want to make that my new normal, I'm so sorry, but I don't, and I'm not going to, so, like, I want people to understand that I'm going to still have a life, like, I'm not going to sit around and be, like, stuck in my crib, like, that's not happening. Mm. Today I had one of those days, man. And also, when I got on this Instagram, I wanted to ask. Danica, <coughs> the second I drive, we're going to start that album. <coughs> I just don't want to start it and I can't. I can't get out there. I'm really clearing up mad mucus today for some reason. I just don't want to start it and I come out there. <clears throat> and I got to come out there. I really want to start this, like, I want to start this journey. But here's the thing I asked myself today. Assalamu alaikum. I asked myself today. Today I got up and I asked myself, really, what do you want, Flo? What do you want? Does anybody know what they really, truly want? Anybody? Raise your hand if you know what you really, truly want in life, out of life. Like, if you... I'm talking about, I know what I want. This is what I want, and that's all I want. Does anyone else do this like me? Or is this just a fucking crazy flow of Virgo thing? I don't know what I really want in life. I don't know what I want in life. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know what I want out of life. I know the little things, like I want to have this, this organization. I want to do Angel Squad. I want to do that. I want to do that. But... Oh, okay, Donica. Her single's gonna be released on all platforms January 28th. Okay. Does anyone 
feel like that. Everybody keeps saying, I thought you were taking a break. Do you guys read when I post things? I said, after Friday, I am not going to be on social media anymore. Like, mad people, I thought you was taking a break. It says clearly after Friday. Today is what? Thursday, today's Wednesday. <clears throat> I have two more days to go off on, on, the, on social media. <clears throat> and I take plenty of breaks. When I say I want to take a break, what I mean by that is I would like to, what I want to do is get somebody and go on like a little road trip, like I said. But if nobody's going to go with me, then I'll just, you know, head out by myself. I don't really care. I will. No, it's okay, Miss B. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it says um, clearly on Friday, you know, no, it's okay. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. But a lot of people are saying that to me and I'm like... Yeah, I'm going to take a break after Friday. I said it. So like I was saying, this this thing about finding your purpose, it's not even about finding my purpose because my purpose is to live, right? That's our purpose, to live, to enjoy life, to experience the journey. It's it's it, There's no specific soul purpose that you have to do. You can do whatever you want to do, and that's a whole fact, right? Gina, I know you're down. You don't drive, though. Neither do I. So what are you going to do? Walk for 10 days? <laughs> like, I can't do it. I don't, I can't even rent a car because my license is coming January 22nd. Not right now. So, um, yeah, like we... <sighs> Thank you. Um, my love, I love you for saying that. She's not Flo the Yellow, but she is Flo the person. That's the thing, though. Man, I don't even know how to put this into words. I just want to get it out of my chest because I know other people are feeling this way. I know my purpose. My purpose is to love, to live, to laugh, to enjoy life. But I'm just going to tell you, and I'm going to be 100% real. I don't even think about falling in love at all. And I don't know if that's like something because of my past life trauma, but I don't feel like it's a trauma. I don't think about being in love like at all. Like, I really don't think about being in love. And that is one of the things my spirit guides keep, like, trying to push towards me. And I'm like, love? Like, do, do you see I'm trying to, like, gain spiritual knowledge and gifts and <clears throat> all that? And y'all keep putting, pushing love on me like you're going to meet somebody. I hear it all the time. Like, this is going to happen. And I'm just like, that's not even on my mind, like, this much. Like, sex, love, none of that is on my mind at all. It's, like, more like what I want is... I don't know. I want like I want to be magical. Like I want to be I want to be like a magical person like for people. I want people to Yeah, Miguel, I know. Thank you so much. You're good at giving people advice. I am because I've went through a lot in my life. So I don't just give advice that comes out of my ass. It's actually something I experience and I tell people if my hard-headed ass got through it like this, you can. You don't seem as hard-headed as me. But um yeah, Lori, exactly. It's okay, but that's when that's when love comes when you don't want it, right? Is that is that is that what you're saying? But that's not what I think about. What I think about every day, on honestly, if you want to like pick my brain for a second, and I do this a lot, and sometimes I'm like, okay, I gotta slow down. Like I get up in the morning immediately. I'm like I'm meditating. I'm like, like just trying to connect to spirit guides and going into the spirit world and doing this and doing that. Then throughout the day, I'm watching angel numbers and I'm constantly connecting, constantly learning. I'm watching videos, reading books, doing this, doing that, learning, learning, learning. And I forgot to like have fun a little bit, you know, like I forgot to have a little fun and I forgot what fun feels like, to be honest with you, like real fun, like real life fun, you know. Um, and... It's like you can't be, this is the point of this, is you cannot be too serious in life. You cannot be too serious in life. And I am happy. This is the thing, though. I am very happy, like, the way I am right now. I'm very happy with who I am. I'm happy with life. I'm happy with everything. Yeah, Donica, I know. I'm happy with everything. Oh, yo, Flo, this is my, the Flo is, Flo is, she, somebody, uh, uh, Tiffany and Amanda, uh, somebody, Tatiana texted me, said, Flo, I know you're on live, but you, you need to know you have somebody who cares about you. See, I knew I was like, I don't want to do this because they're going to think I'm trying to say like, nobody cares about me. I know people care about me a lot. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's me. It's me. I kind of do this thing where I'm like, <clears throat> 
oh my god, I don't even know how to put it. I do this like um I'm good by myself thing, right? Oh no, I can't start a business with someone because they don't know what they're doing. Oh, I don't want to be in a relationship because they might disappoint me. Like not in that way. Like it's you know, they're, they're, <laughs> nobody's as smart as me. Like type of thing. Like it's I guess it's a Virgo thing, and you know I'm a Leo Venus, so I deal with love like a Leo, which is very egotistical and very cocky and very like I run shit, motherfucker, right? But then I'm an Aquarius Moon, so my emotions. Somebody is pinching my shoulder, my arms so hard right now, like right here. <laughs> my whole arm is vibrating. I just feel like somebody pinched me. I feel it. So thank you for that text, um, Tatiana and, <laughs> and Tiffany. I have you guys um, done it. You can still be spiritually aware while, while riding the wave of life. Again, us Virgos, as perfection, as we do something, we go full force, but then we miss out on real life. Yes, that's a fact. And uh, man, I love being this person. Like this is who I love being, right? But like I gotta sometimes, you know. Also though, you guys gotta, gotta also understand. You know, I, I don't drive, so it's very different. If I drove right now, like you would see me in the car, and I'd be going to like another state, another place. I'd find, but again, I'd be searching for spiritual places. So yeah, I would be in the car looking for spiritual places. I might go hang out once or twice a week, but most of the time I'll be on a journey looking for a spiritual adventure. And <clears throat> I am vibrating all over today. And that's the thing. It's like, and then I'm like to my spirit guides, like, am I, am I, am I wrong? Am I fantasizing this? Like, am I dreaming? Like, am I only dreaming? Is this, or is this, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I only dreaming or what? <clears throat> it is. Oh, Marcus, it is. A hundred percent it is. When you have a, like, it's not even, the car is not the issue because I could get a car. I could afford the payments I'm working. I'm doing it. It's just the, the license thing that I'm waiting on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's January 22nd. And as soon as that happens, I'm, I'm going right to my friend. She's a dealer at dealership. I'm going to go. It's not a, like a fancy car, but I'm going to get something. I, you know, the payments are not going to be crazy or something like that. And just so I can have a car to just get out for a few days but also my daughter's with me all the time her dad hardly like not that he hardly ever sees her i'm not i'm not here shading nobody but he hardly ever picks her up he lives like two and a half hours away and so i understand but like she's with me all the time so like and then i also feel bad to leave her like i'm it's i put a lot of pressure on myself man on a daily basis it's, it's like a lot <clears throat> I want to drive and never come back to my area. I feel you, Italia. So come get me. We'll go drive for a few days. <clears throat> we'll go look for something. <clears throat> you know, to, need to go to a spa and just relax or just sleep. Girl, I sleep. Oh, Danica. Sit on your ass with your baby girl. Watch Netflix. That's what I do. What do you think I'm doing in between readings and shit? That's, my point is I need adventure. Like, it's coming to that point where the new moon is calling for... <clears throat> I'm being called to have an adventure right now because, um, and when I say adventure, I'm not saying like, oh, plan everything. I'm talking about get in the car, let's drive over here and then we'll stop, we'll rent the hotel for the night and then keep driving that way and then this way and then whatever and we'll eat on the way there and then maybe we'll even drive 24 hours straight and I don't know, maybe smoke some weed and get high and giggle and eat a bunch of shit and I don't know, like, you know, just be girls and like be silly and funny, like play loud music and Stuff like that, you know, somebody falls asleep, you tickle their nose with a feather. I don't know, corny, funny shit, like fun stuff. I'm not looking for like, you know, I don't don't want to go suck a hundred dicks. I just want to go chill. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Although one wouldn't be bad, wouldn't be that. But one wouldn't be bad. See, they didn't want me to say that shit. Go to Diva, girl. When I went to Diva. <laughs> I caught a reputation in two days. The first day I was there, they said that I had a party and the girls were dancing on the table naked. <laughs> that is not what happened. They were not naked. They had bathing suits on. <laughs> Yo, the first two days I was in Albania, <laughs> I got a reputation. I was like, damn, I can't live here. <laughs> I mean, I had all the motherfuckers dancing because they don't do like, you know, grinding, dancing. So what I did was put on some reggae music. And what did I do? I showed the whole party how to dance reggae. So what did they take as reggae? Everybody got in lines together like they were in like a, uh, you know, a, a line. Like, 
you know, like a line, right? Like everybody was in one, one in front of the other and they were all dancing like grind. I was showing them, I was like, grind on her, grind on her. And I was telling the girls, look, move your ass like that, right? So the whole party was dancing like that. And then like two girls, they had bathing suits, top, bathing suit tops on and they got a little loosey. So they moved to the side and they would dance with their bathing suit tops. The next day I go to my house where I was staying at my, my grandfather's and she's like, she's get born, bro. I was like, what? She was like, what'd you do last night? I was like, Kojo? She was like, nothing. She was like, yo, yo. I was like, yo, yo. Like, the, they were saying that you had girls on the table, naked dancing. I'm like, they were not. I was like, they were not naked. I was like, I was like, Kishin, it was like they had bathing suits on. So yeah, I caught a reputation in two days in Albania. So no, I went to the bathroom and smoked weed with the girl there. Oh my God, they were calling me a drug addict. It was fucking hilarious. I was like 18 when I went there. I was turned. I was turned, but I was like, you know, a good girl. But still, like, uh, I kind of, we, we wilded out. Me and my cousin was sneaking out in the middle of the night. Yo, bitch, I was, ha I was like, come on, let's get out of here. She was like, we can't leave. I was like... I see a window and the floor is right next to it. Let's just go. She was like, what do you do in America? I was like, "Not. we don't do this in America. I'm trying to do this out here, bitch. Let's get." We jumped out. We went to like these kids' houses and there was a bunch of people there. We were making Turkish coffee cups at night. And here's how I know. Always the spirit thing, right? <clears throat> and the one kid was like, you got to watch out. There's a genus here. That means witches in Albania. And he was like, Tokani Gina, do it. Pakiavash, most foolish us though. He's like, don't talk like that. There's there's witches here. And I'm like, witches. I'm like, I was like, I don't care. I'm not afraid of witches. Then we go to his house and the lights start flickering while we were reading the Turkish coffee. It was like one in the morning. Then the one Albanian girl, she's like, so the boy was still, was born, was born, was kids, was kids, was kids, was kids. I'm telling you, it's kids. And Gina, she was like, it's bad luck. The witches are going to come here. It's one o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Fucking dead. <clears throat> I did some wild shit out there. Oh, and <laughs> thank you, Danica. Because when I was in Albania, I forgot all the adventures I have I had in Albania. So I leave all those motherfuckers from, from K-Mob and shit, they were in Albania at the same time as me. So we were wilding. The one kid, he climbed up to the top of the Lichen, which is the beach. And he went all the way to the top. And he was like, hey, everybody, look. And we all turned around. He pulled his pants down and mooned us. We were like, oh. And we were shooting Fanta commercials on the beach. We were like, wanna Fanta? Oh, you wanna, wanna? Fanta. So I had really humongous boobs when I was 18. Like they were bigger than this. These are big, but they, nah, they probably the size, right? So I went to get dressed. I went to get, um, to jump in the water. Cause when you go to Dibur, Dibur, Albania, Dibur, Macedonia is a part of Albania. Well, it's Macedonia, but whatever it's, we're considered Albanians. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So, um, um, we went to the Lichen, where it's like the beach you jump in, right? So it's like a, you, it's a top, you know, like those uh, mountains, like you could jump in the water from like the top of the mountain. So the water goes down. So everybody was jumping off of it. So I just came. It's my first day in Dibrud and my first day at the beach. And there's all nothing, but you know, Albanians there from there. So, and then all the American kids came and we all came down. Like we were all cool because we're from America. You know what I'm saying? We come down and all the girls are jumping in the water and the boys are jumping in the water. And then I go to go and I had clothes on because I was shy because I was a little chubby like this. I was like this, but you know, I was chubby. And I was like, I don't want to take my clothes off. And then the girl was like, no, no. She goes, we like fat people here. I was like. <laughs> this bitch, she said we like fat people here. I was like, oh okay, well thanks. And so then I took my um, I took my shirt off. I take my shirt off, and my boobs, like I said, were huge. And I had like this little green bathing suit on because I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, wearing a green like bathing suit like this with them big ass titties, right? And so um, I jumped. I jumped in the water. I no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is how the story goes. I will never forget this. I took my sh I took my pants off. Right, la la la. Then I take my top off. Bitch, I jump in the water. Everybody jumped in. People were doing backflips, sides, perfect dives, perfect tens, ten, 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 ten. I jumped in like just jumped in like you know feet first. I come out. Everybody was like. Good job, good job, good job, good job. The guys, they were like, good job. The girls were like, good job. I was like, what just happened? And then I noticed the reason why they were all clapping is because I went up there and I like, I'm sitting down. All the girls were coming out to me and they were like, ah, I am the I am the Freeman. They were asking me if I had fake titties. All the Albanian girls from there, they, they ain't got no titties out there. 
if they have there I didn't see one girl with boobs, not one. So they were like I was like I was like that's why they were clapping over there. She goes, Paul, come and They thought your titties were fake. So I was like, what? That's why they were clapping? She was like, yes. And so every girl on the beach was coming up to me and grabbing my titties. No, they weren't asked. They're like, they're like I ain't done that. I ain't the And that, that means, are those yours? Are they blown up? Literally, the translation to that would be like, are those yours? Or are they blown up balloons? <laughs> That's like what it means when you translate that and so i was laughing because i was like oh i see they never seen boobs like that that's why they were clapping <laughs> right <laughs> that was one story the next story is this guy i met his actually his family um owned like the biggest jewelry store these are real stories like i can you can concur and confirm with people so um <clears throat> the one dude he was real cute good looking albanian kid too his family owned like the jewelry store there <clears throat> so a lot of the girls try to hook up with him because he was I guess you what you consider rich in that in that um town where I, where I'm from originally right we went to a wedding it was seven days long anyway let me let me get to the story so um damn man <laughs> this is what I'm saying if I write a book I'm gonna be there for 10 years like like in the in the I would say the 20 years of life that I remember in my life, because I really don't remember a lot of my childhood. I only remember from like the age of, for some reason, 13 and up. For some reason, I cannot remember every detail when I was a little kid. But if I sat down and wrote, it's like somebody writing down like a 100-year lifespan. My life has been that eventful. And I'm not joking you. Every day of my life was, wow, I could... It's crazy. Like I, I, I can't. I. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. Like it's not. This is not. Even, I'm not even making this shit up. Anyway, so we're there, and he's like, you know, the guy that everybody wanted to be with because he was rich or whatever, whatever. He was cute. So remember that song. I'm gonna love you forever, and that's just all I'm asking of you. One dollar to the person who could guess who wrote that, who sang that song. <clears throat> I'm gonna love you forever, forever and ever. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? You guys are not the only one who enjoy my story. Spirit comes around me whenever I do story time. Story, story time online. <clears throat> anyway, the, the singer was Jessica Simpson, okay? Uh, remember this? Checking our fish, right? Jessica Simpson, her. She sang that song. And it was really popular at that time. But I will tell you, in Albania, where I was, thank you, Italia. In Albania, oh, everybody knows. Okay, <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> but in Albania, where I was, it was really fucking popular. Like they were running that shit back over and over. And you know, so yakanasa. <laughs> That song was popular. They played the fuck out of that song, right? So anyway, they were playing that song. I'm going to love you forever. So this dude, who, like I said, all the girls want to be with him, they saw me sitting with him. So a lot of girls started giving me, like, attitude, like, bitch, like, you took our boyfriend. And I was like, bitch, chill. I'm just going to fuck him. I'm never going to see him again. I'm going back to America. I ain't taking this motherfucker with me. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, I wasn't planning on having sex with him. But, you know, anyway, that's besides the point. So we were laughing, though. Like, I was sitting down and kiss, kiss, exactly. It's a Turkish song. He's sitting across from me. And so, ooh, big ringing in my ear. And so... With fifty dollars, I bought the whole bar of drinks. I was like, vodka, cranberry, vodka, med juice for everybody. So that's like orange juice and vodka. So I was like, vodka juice for everybody. So the guy starts giving everybody vodka and, and orange juice. So the whole bar is celebrating me. They're like, yes, 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 yes. I love you. I love her. Oh my god, you're amazing. Cause I'm buying them drinks with like they literally gave like three rounds to everybody with fifty dollars. Cause that at that time when I was there, one dollar made six of their dollars. So bitch, fifty times you know you could do the math because i can't <laughs> it was a lot of money put it that way so he sits with me right he sits with me across from me and when i tell you those bars they stay open all night they're not they don't close albanian bars what closing time that doesn't happen over there you fucking when you're there you're there so he's sitting across he's sitting across from me and he's like I'm going to love you forever. You're going to be my wife. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to come to America. And we're going to be happy. I promise you. Don't worry. I have money. I don't need your money. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Like, you know, I'm like playing along like with the fantasy. I'm like, ah, ah, oh my God. Ah, love. Right? And the song, I'm going to love you forever starts playing. 
this motherfucker. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> he said. <laughs> he said. He said. He said. He said. Oh, I just said that. I just said that. Look, this song. This song. He's like. I was like, yeah, that's Jessica Simpson. I'm gonna love you forever. That song is is popular right now. He goes, I never heard it before. That's it. We're playing this song all night. So he, the song plays dead ass. He was like singing it to me. I'm going to love you forever. And fucking in his accent. And I'm laughing. He's like, and that's just all I'm asking from you. He doesn't know the words. So, you know, his face looks crazy as hell. I'm looking at him like, this motherfucker is really into this. But I don't want to like ruin the moment. You know, it's his fantasy. He's got a hot American chick with big titties. And I got, you know, a European guy who hardly speaks English in front of me. Fuck it. Like, both of our fantasies are fulfilled right now. So the song is playing. And then the song stops playing. And he goes, eh, Maestro, come here. And, and he was like, um, he comes up to him. He goes, Chubo. He goes, Te tapin de dollar. And he goes, I'm going to give you $10, American money, and you're going to play this song over and over and over again. And I'm like, I'm looking at the guy and I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't fucking do it. He's like, oh, my vegetable. He's like, he made like, you know, I don't know, $300 in his money that night. So he started playing that song over and over and over again. And this motherfucker was singing it to me over and over and over again. But like, I was like, like after the fourth time, I was like, vodka and juice, please. I was like, please give me some more alcohol so I could deal with this. But you know, we were having fun. It was funny. But then I was like, oh, I was like, no more. I was like, look, the people over here, they're trying to have a good time and they listen to, I'm going to love you forever a hundred times. It's like enough is enough. He's like, I don't give a shit. He starts yelling. I don't give a shit. What? You don't like the song? He's like looking at the people next to him. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. And they're like, they're looking at him like, but they already know how this motherfucker is. Obviously he's got a reputation out there. And of course I end up with the gangster, right? Or whatever he was. And they were like, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Lue, lue. Yeah, yeah, play. He's like, you're in love right now. And then we leave there, right? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story, but we leave there. <laughs> we leave there. And, and just I'm just going to say, he fell in love. And then when I left, he started, he got really upset. <laughs> he was like, you're going to leave? You're not going to say hello to me? Come. He was telling me to go meet his parents at the jewelry store. I was like... Ooh, no, 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 no. I was like, no, 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 no. Nobody can know that we hung out. Like, this is this is a fucking secret. You know, like, I came to another country. I had a fling. It was a summer loving. Had me a blast. I'm getting on that plane so fast. I'm going back to my hometown. Fuck this place. I'm fucking out. And the girls over here were like, tell me more, tell me more. Did he have a big dick? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't see it. It was dark. It was dark. It was dark. Uh-uh. <laughs> <coughs> Yo. So, you like that remix though, right? That remix was fire. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. Could you see this whole dick? I don't know. It was dark. It was dark. Ah, uh, it was dark. <laughs> like that's what I think of all day. I'm like, I'm like, I want to make music. Like, I want to take, like, the best movies ever and just remix the songs to, like, some crazy fucked up shit. Like, <laughs> like really fucked up shit. Like, you know, take, like, uh, like let it go and be like, she's a hoe, she's a hoe. You can't play, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't lie anymore. She's a hoe, got no dough. Turn around and... Like, you know what I'm saying? Turn around, you stupid whore. I don't care what you say to me. The truth is out. I saw you on video doing everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, so funny shit like that. It would just be funny. I don't know. This is what I think about. I don't know. It's on my brain. It's not my fault. <laughs> For real. Like, I don't understand. You know, but, um, um. Another thing, um, what else did I do in Deber? Oh, the girl. So there was a girl 
who was in love with a guy. But, all right, how did it go? She was in love with him. He pretended to be in love with her, but he was in love with her, but he was pretending, but he was making out with me behind her back. Does that make sense? So he was so hot. Oh my God, he looked good as fuck. This motherfucker had dark black hair like this, like real green eyes, like pretty lips, like perfect nose. Like he had a girl face, but he was a guy and he was really hot, right? So he like, no, but she was madly in love with him. But like, here's the thing. Here's the fucked up part. <laughs> Let me just make sure I don't want to lie. So, okay. <clears throat> All right, yeah, yeah. Here's the fucked up part. She needed me to pretend I was hanging out with him so her family doesn't know she's hanging out with him. So in the time frame that she was hanging out with him, me and him were making out behind her back. <laughs> you know, does, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was helping her, but I was also kissing her boyfriend. So <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Listen, the way I look at it, she ended up with him. So, I mean, like, literally, they got married and everything. So, like, you're welcome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I told her before I left D-Bird. No, actually, no, I'm lying. I did not tell her. She found out. <laughs> and she came at me, like, I'm sick and books. <laughs> she was crying. And I was like, I was like, why are you crying? She was like, she was like, smoke the fish. No, with the fish. No, with the fish. Like, she was like, you're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. And I was like, and I'm like, I'm like, Oh, I was like, are you talking about the kiss? And she was like, the kiss? You kissed him a bunch of times. Like five times. Five times. You kissed him in the bathroom, at the house. She was naming the spots. I was like, damn, that motherfucker is a rat. I was like, what a bitch. Like, he told her everything. Like, yeah, I mean, with everything. He could have just been like, I kissed her. This motherfucker said, where he kissed me, the time, the place, the color of the moon, the color of the sand behind him, what color the couch pillows were. Like, God damn, motherfucker, you went into details. You could have just been like, I kissed her. Like, the fuck? So, like, now I can't lie because the bitch got straight details. So, I'm like, yeah. Um, I was like, you know what I think what happened was, like, we were, uh, you made me hang out with him, right? Like, this is kind of your fault. I pushed straight up told her just like this. You made me hang out with him the whole time. So what happened was we hung out. And while you were telling me to wait for you with him, we kind of like started like liking each other. And, you know, shit went down. And then when I kissed him, I told him it was wrong the first time and the second time. But the third, fourth, the fifth time, maybe the sixth, seventh, and eighth that he didn't tell you about. He left something out. I was like, I, you know, I just, after that, I thought he liked me and I liked him. So I thought we were going to be together. But then when I saw you were still with him, I left him alone. And you're, and you're with him right now, thanks to me. Thanks to me. I'm the one who came to your fucking door, knocked on it and said, can she come hang out with me? And then I let her hang out with him. Like, bitch, you owe me. <laughs> the fuck? You could let me borrow your man for a second? Shit, damn. <laughs> like, you owe me, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? I did all that work for you. Can I get my pussy in? Damn. <laughs> Selfish hoe. <laughs> Just crazy shit. Oh, and then the cop... <sighs> I knew my ass was going back to America. She was staying there. I was like, no, fuck all this. I was like, I'm having my fun, bitch. I'm, this, is, I'm, this is my visitation. I was by myself. I didn't go with my mom. I didn't go with my sister, my brother, my cousins. I went on a plane at 18 years old by myself. I lost my virginity in Albania to that guy, to the rich jewelry guy. <laughs> at 18 years old. <laughs> I was like, fuck that, I'm losing my virginity. <laughs> I was like, I am planning this. At least I'll be in another country. Nobody will find out. They found out in America <laughs> that I was wilding. <laughs> like, my mom was like, <laughs> when I got to America, she was like, so you went over there and you fucking turned everybody into a fucking crazy person, didn't you? I said, what? She goes, oh, when you were at the party, I heard that, you know, you had girls on the table dancing naked. I said, mom, first of all, I paid $60 to have 100 people at a party with free drinks and a DJ. And I said, I never, nobody was naked. They were just dancing on the table. Like, it wasn't that serious. And she was like, I'm not sending you there no more. I was like, what do you expect? I'm 18 years old. You sent me to Albania by myself, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> you crazy. And then, oh, when I was in Kosovo, bitch, bitch, this is a, oh, this is a true story. Because I went to Kosovo too, which my family out there, they lived... Y'all motherfuckers think you live in the hood? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you live in fucking a mansion. Your ass lives in fucking 
Trump Palace, like I'm gonna just tell you right now, or whatever the fuck I was gonna say, the the Taj Mahal, bitch, because where they lived, I was shitting in a fucking a hole in the in the floor outside in the cartoons, okay, motherfucker, and I go to Kosovo, and I go to Kosovo, and my uncle, one of my family members there, this motherfucker does not want to let us go nowhere. So I'm like, yo, I want to explore. I'm in Kosovo. I'm trying to see what's really good, right? So I go to what they call the, um, the, the, in city. City is like where everybody walks. And then especially if people come from America, they walk down it. It's basically like they're flaunting you. Like, look, my cousin's from America. And then all the guys are like, oh, hello, American, Florina. They all know my name. That night I was walking. They were like, Florina. I was like, how the fuck do these motherfuckers know me? Because they found out I was from America. So they knew me. Yeah, well, listen to this, Annika. Let me tell you, hold on, hold on, because, hold on. Hold on, I had to, <clears throat> I had to blow the fuck out of my nose for this story, because I want to make sure y'all hear me clear, and no bugger interruptions happen. So anyway, <clears throat> so motherfucker, I go to Kosovo. And um, <clears throat> my cousin there, he's mad strict. He don't want us going nowhere. His sister wasn't allowed to go nowhere. This bitch was in the army when she was like 15. Y'all motherfuckers think you got a rough? Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up, okay? Um, so he don't want to let us go nowhere. I'm telling her, like, let's go. Like, I'll, I'll pay for everything. Let's just get the fuck out of here, please, you know? <clears throat> She's like, I can't. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. Morning time comes. These motherfuckers is out there curing the chickens or whatever the fuck, milking goats or whatever the fuck they're doing. I took my chance. I got dressed. I had money on me. $1,000 in Albania. What At that time, I was 18. That's a long time ago. It was a lot of money. So I took my money. Not all of it. I took a few hundred on me. I left the rest like hiding in the house, right? And I hid that shit good. I was like, these ghetto motherfuckers, they don't want to steal my shit. Like, that ass. Like, I gave his mom like 200 when I got there and shit. I had to give everybody money. Whatever. The point is, um, <clears throat> I leave. I leave, right? I get up and I leave. Hi, Shanda represent prisons. Um, I get up and I leave, right? I fucking dip. And I go. Now I get in a cab. I go here. I go to restaurants. I go everywhere. I go in like all the nice parts of um, Kosovo, like where all the city part was. And it was dope. I was meeting people. But at that time, there was a war between Serbia and Kosovo. So like the war was like, you know, it was kind of like settling down or whatever. But people were still burning Serbian flags. Like the shit was still hood as fuck. So it's very dangerous for an American girl. I didn't bring my passport or nothing. It's very dangerous for an American girl to be going, traveling around. They take bitches like me. Like, oh, American pussy. <laughs> Let's take her. She's worth money. You know what I'm saying? It's 10, 10 o'clock. Um, and so they like... That's that's the point of the story. And now remember, there was Uchika there, and there was um, um Na <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> there was NATO. <clears throat> NATO is <clears throat> I started talking, and all of a sudden I got mad phlegm in my throat. Anyway, well I've been feeling a little stuffy lately. Anyway, NATO was there, and NATO. I went at a very bad time, yes. And NATO was there, and that's all American soldiers. So I'm having a ball. I'm talking to all the American soldiers. I'm drinking coffee with them, smoking cigarettes, taking pictures of myself at a restaurant, and blah, blah, blah. It's I'm just having a good old time. I'm not even thinking about what's going on in the village where I just left, like fucking Mulan and shit. I fucking dipped in the middle of the night to go to war, <laughs> literally. They probably thought I was going to war. So anyway... So I have fun all day long. You know, I talk to soldiers. I have my fun. I do this. I do that. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, okay, it's getting, before it gets dark, let me get back. Mind you, I left at like 7 in the morning. And it's like 4.30 at night. And it's like still light outside. So I'm like, let me go back. So I go back. I get in the cab. I go. I'm safe, though, the whole time. Nothing happened to me. I made sure I stood in busy, busy areas. I didn't go nowhere by myself. I'm not stupid. I went to like the busy area, stood there, and that's it. So... <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, my, my family, they don't practice being Muslims. They're Muslims, but I don't think any Albanian really practices Muslim until they have to go to the mosque or Jamai for fasting for Ramadan. Like, let's keep it all the way real. Anyway, um, but I always practiced it myself. Nobody else did it around me. I just did it because I loved it. But, and you know, anyway, um, so I go back to the house or whatever. 
to the village, to the fucking mountains, because it was not a house, it was like a shed. So I start walking, now be, you take a cab, but the cab can't drive up the mountain because it's literally a mountain, you're like climbing a mountain. So I had brought sneakers with me in a backpack, so I put the sneakers on, right, took the shoes off, took, put the sneakers on, and I start doing my climb to the, to the village. And I'm walking up the village, and I get to the, this close to the top of the village, bro. I get up there, all of a sudden, I shit you not, there was like 20 NATO soldiers at the top of the village, like standing there. So as, mind you, now imagine you just went somewhere. I start walking up and I look up and what do I see? Mad soldiers. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Nowhere did it hit me for a second that they were for me. Not even for a second did it hit me that they were there for me. I was like, nah. Then I, and I just thought maybe something happened. I thought something happened to like my family or something. You know what I mean? Maybe, they, I don't know, that people found out an American was with them and they like beat the shit out of them or try to rob them or whatever. I get there. I get onto the top. Mind you, the, tr the, the hike, I'm still <gasps> trying to get my fat ass up there. I get up there, I'm like, hi. And they're like, are you Florina Kaya? And I'm like, Mm, you don't want to say yeah, because you're like, what the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I was like, um, yeah, why? Come with us. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I'm in so much trouble. What did I do? And they grabbed me by my arm, two NATO people. They grabbed me by my arm. They're like, let's go. Your family's been looking for you all fucking day. One of the guys is cursing my face. I'm like, yo, you better get the fuck up out of my face. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. He was like... Are you fucking crazy? A beautiful girl like you from America going off by herself in Kosovo in the middle of a war? Do you know that you could get kidnapped and raped and murdered and held for ransom and all that good shit? He goes, do you have your passport on you? I said, no. He was like, oh, man, girl, you crazy. He was like, you are in a lot of trouble. I was like, is it illegal? He was like, nah. He's like, go inside the house. I go inside the house. Mind you, I haven't seen my cousin, uncle, or whatever he was in a long-ass time. So, you know, it's like seeing a stranger, basically, you know? He comes up to me. This motherfucker was gangster. Big-ass hands. He smacks the shit out of me. That's twice I got smacked while I was in Albania. <laughs> By the way, the first time I got smacked because I was in the ocean water in Dibut, and there was a gypsy there, and, like, we're not supposed to talk to the gypsies or whatever. They're no good for us, but um, he was banging. I was like, how you doing, papi? Like, I was, like, immediately, like, papi chulo, how you doing? He had green eyes. Oh, my God. This motherfucker came out the water. He was like, huh? I was like, I just, I didn't even, I just, like, boom, 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 right to him, and I was like, hi, how you doing? He was like, Hi, hi, how you doing? Like, you know, but he was so cute. But I'm not supposed to talk to them because, you know, it makes us look bad. It makes us look like sluts or whatever. And my cousin, this motherfucker was on the on the shore or the, whatever, the sand. He swam in like a fucking fish, like a goddamn dolphin. He was like, shaw, 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 shaw. swam in, comes up to me, smacks the shit out of me. Get the fuck out of the water. I was like, whoa. He was like, you don't talk to him. And he goes, to most Polish me cut in the yes at the Vrasi. Like, I'll fucking kill you. You ever talk to her again? He was like, no, 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 no. I no phone ya on. I am my mouth for it. And I was like, it was me. It was me. It wasn't him. And I get out. And I, you know, what I, mean? I got smacked. That's one time in D. But then I go to Kosovo. It's the same tr trip, by the way. <laughs> That's how you know you're bad. <laughs> when you get smacked by two different cousins in two different um, cities all together. Then I go to Kosovo <clears throat> and like this happens and then he smacks the shit out of me and all the NATO guys. And I was like, I was like, no, 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 hold the fuck up. Hold up. Everybody, like they were all like yelling and this one saying this. Then I finally stood up. Like the American girl came out of me and I stood up. I was like, hold the fuck up. I was like, you ever fucking touch me again, I will fuck you up. You fucking motherfuckers with your little power trip and your little fucking military. Get the fuck, leave. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck you, motherfucker. I start cursing at them. The one big guy, the big military guy, he comes towards me. And I, like, I went, <laughs> like, just, like, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> jumped on him. Don't fucking 
don't touch me. Don't touch me. I start fighting with him and shit. They're like, hey, calm down, calm down. And then one of the guys, he was cute, right? One of the soldiers, he was like, yo, she's crazy. Like, he was like, she's crazy. Like, he, he was loving it. He, that was their most exciting thing that, that ever happened to them. I was like, you're in a whole army outfit. And this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you, isn't it? So <clears throat> I start flipping. I'm like, I'll fucking fight all you motherfuckers. Like, you know, I start wilding out. And fucking the <laughs> practice crazy person came out. And um, they were all like, calm down, everybody calm down. So they like they sat there they, and they started asking me questions. Did you go to hotels with any of the soldiers? I'm like, what? I'm like, what the fuck are you asking me? I'm like, are you asking me this because you want to know? Or will it turn you on if you thought I did that? I'm like, because why would you ask me if I went to hotels with soldiers? I'm like, I was chilling. I went to eat. I went to chill. I was looking at the gun store. Like, I was doing shit, bro. I'm in the fucking, I'm an American in, in Albania chilling. And he was like, all right. So they could saw, they saw that I was like being honest. First of all, it's none of their goddamn business, but I was just entertaining them because they were bored as a motherfucker. So they leave. <clears throat> and one of the guys was like, yo, call me, call me, call me. I'm still friends with him till today, that one soldier. Still talk to him on Facebook, by the way. And, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> they leave whatever and then my uncle the one who was there he um he was like oh he well, we fell asleep whatever so the next day you you know how he apologized to me let me tell you how I, how he apologized to me i wake up in the morning it's like eight in the morning the motherfuckers had me up by 6 30 a.m they don't play nothing <clears throat> so <clears throat> they wake me up eight in the morning this is how he says sorry to me motherfucker you know what he does he goes come on i did I said, I did well. He's like, come on, we're going to go to the woods with your cousin. And she was in the army, like I said, okay? He gave me... No, nah, not the... Military people don't want cash. They, they're they Americans. It's, it's you know, if they were been Albanian cops, I would have just gave them $100. I was like, get the fuck out of here, leave. But not the Americans. <laughs> it doesn't work on them. Um, he gave me an army suit to wear. And you know those Tommy guns? The one that have the big barrel like this? They go... Do, 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 do. They shoot, but they're old and you like cock back a lot. That's how he apologized to me. He's like, come on, we're going to shoot a gun. I know you like guns. So he took me to the middle of the forest. I put on an army outfit. I have a picture of it somewhere, somewhere. And, <clears throat> and that's how he apologized to me, by giving me an army outfit and telling me that I could shoot his BB gun. It was NATO. They were Americans. <laughs> yeah, so no, Americans. If they would have been Albanian cops, I would have been like... I don't know, you know, but it doesn't work on that. And that's how he apologized to me by giving me an outfit and telling me to go shoot his Tommy gun. That was pretty awesome too. And then like, you know, I was my best friend after that. I was like, oh, this was the greatest, you know. And he was like, I never let nobody shoot that gun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I smacked you. I was like, yeah, it's okay. I kind of deserved it. He's like, no, you wanted to go explore the Kosovo. I did not let you. That's not nice. I was like, yeah, you you did fuck up, though. I was like, yeah, you messed up. I was like, pop, what? Take a book, kitchen. And he was like, ah, and we started laughing. And then Kosovo is where I went to the seven-day wedding. So... One, the first day we went and like got the bride ready and dressed. The second day we went to wash her body. Like we went by the thing. We all helped her get washed. The third day we like <clears throat> did a whole bunch of, I was teaching the girls in Kosovo in the village. <laughs> I was teaching them about sex and stuff. <laughs> even though I just lost my virginity, not even two weeks ago. But you know, like my friends used to talk about giving head and stuff all the time. So I just like told them what I heard. I was like, yeah, I was like, this is what you got to do. Oh, yeah, what else do you do? I'm like, and then I told him I lost my virginity to a guy in, in D, but in Albania. They're like, oh, what if people find out you're going to have to marry him? I was like, no, the fuck, I'm not. I was like, I'm from America. We don't do that. I'm like, we don't do that over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was it. <laughs> you know, so, you know, it was crazy. Damn, that's mad old school. Wait, was City in Kosovo? It was in the cartoons by, by VT. You know where VT is? VT? Right on top of VT. Literally, like, VT was there, and we, like, drove up, and the cartoons were right there. Like, in the in the mountains, Donica. Like, the mountains. Motherfuckers, they have no TVs. They didn't have toilets or nothing, bro. I took a bath or a shower with a big thing of hot water and a big thing of cold water. And that's why I tell people, you really think you're broke? You really think you live in the ghetto, bitch? I saw kids playing with fucking bullets things outside what do you they this that was their game they were shooting the um not shooting bullets at each other but picking up the casings and throw them at each other like there was a game 
they played, pretending they were shooting each other with casings of bullet. Like, you are not ghetto. You don't live ghetto. Stop. Just stop. We live the... F what? If they came here, those people from over there and came to... Let's say, for instance, my house. Like, I'm not saying my house is... But it's pretty big. My house is three floors. It's got five bedrooms. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker, five bedrooms. We were all sleeping on the floor in one big room. Only the husbands and wives slept separately. Everybody else had their own little spot on the floors. Fuck out of here. Over there, you get your ass beat. There's no call on 911. You're staying there. Like, I tell people all the time, you fucking don't even know how good you got it. Are you fucking insane? Over there, you get your ass beat. You go to your neighbor, help me, they beat me. Oh, you better go back to your husband. What did you do? <laughs> you get blamed real motherfucking quick. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, before the girl got married, I taught her how to give a blowjob with a banana. And all the girls were cracking up. All the girls in Kosovo. Because they were all... I really didn't know how to like really give blowjobs. But I kind of did. You know what I'm saying? Because... <clears throat> You know, because I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? And because the first time I ever gave a girl head, I knew exactly what I was doing. Nobody ever showed me how to do that. I just knew. Well, it can't be that hard. Oh, what do you do? Suck on it? Like, I know. Lollipops, uh, icicles. What else has I practiced on my whole life? Bottles. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking, they start teaching us that shit from when we are a baby. Just suck, baby. Suck. That's all, you know? So, like, fucking, I taught the girl who was about to get married how to give some head. So, at least her husband ain't gonna whoop her ass. I said, listen, if you don't want your husband to whoop your ass, give him a blowjob every night. She goes, in the first night, I said, fuck yeah, do that shit. They were cracking up because I took a banana and I was like, stoke, 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 stoke. <laughs> So, like, I corrupted everybody. Like, I went there and corrupted the whole world and came back and was like... Albania was great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. What a life. What a life. La, dun, 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 dun. I had them cracking up, though. The girls there, oh, my God. They couldn't stop laughing. They're like, you, you, you don't care. You're so funny. You don't care. They're, like, shocked. Like, yo, this girl does not give a fuck what we think about her. Because, you know, to them, they don't say things like that to each other. They pretend like... They pretend like they're perfect, like angels and shit. Meanwhile, in the back of their head, they're like, damn, I really want somebody to fuck me while I'm upside down. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to say that shit. They can't say that shit. You know what I mean? And so fucking when I went there, I was saying all that stuff. They were like, yo, dude, you don't care. You don't care what people think for you. I was like, no, I don't care what people think for me. <laughs> like, I don't give shit. Because <laughs> they saw when I was like yelling at the, uh, you know, don't forget when I started fighting with my uncle, the whole village came out. Chubal, Chubal. They don't have nothing going on there. That was like the biggest drama they've seen in 10, 15 years of their life. I came out there, corrupted the whole place. I, I was smacking the little kids who were trying to look through the people while I was peeing. Because, you know, you're peeing outside in the woods and they built it with bricks. Bricks have holes in it if they don't like, you know, put the stuff in between with that, you know, the stuff, whatever that's called, the, you know, the, the stuff in between the bricks to make it not show. It was just bricks laid on top of each other. Like, here you go, there's the bathroom and then there's, there's a fucking hole in the floor. So the little kids, every time I went to the bathroom, guess what they were doing? Coming by, ah, laughing and looking in there. Look, shit, shit, shit. So I stepped out and I beat the shit out of like three kids. I was like, motherfucker, pop, 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 kick the other one. Like, not hit them bad, but I beat them up a little bit. And then they went back, mommy, she hit me. Like in Albanian and shit. I was like, they were looking through the people. She goes, ah, don't. they do that all the time. I said, not with me. The fuck they're not. <laughs> the one girl, her husband was about to get married. This motherfucker. This bitch. She was, I'm like, like I, every time she left me alone with him, I was like, <laughs> mad uncomfortable with this motherfucker. I was like, don't leave me alone with your husband. He's gonna try to fuck me. And she was like, no, 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 he's nice, he's nice. As soon as outhouse, it's not even an outhouse, it's an out brick. <laughs> it's an out brick, bro. It's like, if I draw it to you, it would take me two seconds. Like five bricks this way, five on top, five behind it, this way covered, holes on the floor, bang, done, done, ding, done. And she like kept leaving me alone with her husband. And every time she left me alone with him, he would come next to me. You're so beautiful. Oh, I wish I was marrying you. I'm like, <laughs> you want me to tell your wife? I'm gonna tell. I swear to fucking God, I'll tell her. I was like, I'm not these girls over here, brother. I was telling. I was like, I was like, I'm not an Albanian. I was like, I don't know who you're talking to. I mean, you're not the girls. I was like, don't fuck with me, motherfucker. He was like, no, 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 you can't tell her. I was like, well, you can't do that. I'm like, you're not allowed to do that. He goes, what's wrong with me telling you you're beautiful? I want to marry you. I was like, you're about to get married. Dang, dang. <laughs> you can't do that. No, 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 no. I'm like, uh. <laughs> and he was like coming next to me. And I, I had to like kept. 
he come next to me like this. I'm like, watch out. Yo, I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Like, literally, I was saying to him. I was like, I was like, are you fucking retarded? And I'll be like, are you a man that yet? He was like, I never meet a woman like you. You're so strong. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, if you don't stop touching me, I'm really, like, in my head, I was like, this motherfucker does not know. I'm going to punch his skinny ass so hard. He's going to go to his own wedding tomorrow with a whole black eye. <laughs> and motherfucker, he, I don't care what he says about me. I will go to the middle of the village. He tried to rape me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look out of here. Like, this motherfucker really don't know. I'm about to bite him. Like, I was acting nice. He, ha, ha, ha. And then I was like, this motherfucker, he don't fucking. <laughs> I was like, hey, I was like, I was like, Hunter Trafi, like, I'm gonna beat you up, like, in Albania. And I was like, I'm gonna hit you. And he really thought I was joking, but he liked that shit, though. I kept pushing him on me. He was like, you're so strong. You're strong, like, you're so strong, woman. Oh my God, it's so sexy. I'm like, <sighs> and then this bitch would come in and, I'd, and she'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go talking. And I'm looking at her like, you fucking dumbass bitch. I fucking told you. I'm not telling you to lower him. <laughs> you keep doing that. Damn. <laughs> For real. Fuck out of here. Shit. I wouldn't. You know what? Nope. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. But I'll go there in my book. Because maybe they won't read it. <laughs> you know. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> they wouldn't be living in that village if they were rich. No, his his ass was not rich. Wait, what did somebody say? He probably was rich as fuck. <laughs> rich. <laughs> rich. I gave them fucking fifty dollars for their wedding gift. They almost had a heart attack. You know how much fifty dollars to them was? A lot. A lot of money. A lot of money. They um when you dance at the weddings, they have the drum guys that don't 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 don't, don't, don't and they hit the drums. Bah, 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 bah. And I gave him $10. Because, you know, I had like, at this point, I went there with like four grand, right? To Albania. At this point, I had like three something left. I hadn't even spent a thousand. I've been there six weeks already. And I was still about to stay about two more, two, three more weeks. So I had a week in Kosovo. I was going back to Diva and I was leaving. Um, <clears throat> and I still had like three Gs on me. So what I did was I distributed money to everybody. 50 here, 50 that household, 50 that household, 100 here, 200 there. You know, out of a thousand dollars, I gave it away a lot. And then I still had like two grand on me when I was in Kosovo. <clears throat> I only had two weeks to go, so I had mad money on me. So I was giving money out, like $10 here, $5 here. You know, the little kids in the village, I was giving them a dollar each. Like, that to them was a big deal. I left it. They were like, oh, they were crying. When I left, the girls, yo, the girls were crying so hard for me. Like, as if they... They were just like, please don't leave us here. I was like, oh my God, I felt so bad, yo. Because like, that's how they were. Like, they like, oh my God. I remember that one girl, I'll never forget her because she had like a longer neck. She was really pretty and she had like that long like giraffe neck, but she was pretty, right? She had like red hair and really like fair skin. And she was like, I'm ugly. I was like, bitch, in America, they would think you're so beautiful. Like you're, you guys are tripping out here. Like, damn, man, I wish I could teach these people. I wish I could stay here and teach them forever, but you can't because... You know, you got out the game, so you can't go back, you know? Once you get out the game, you can't go back. So, like, fucking, I just remember them crying, like, as if they were losing their best, their sister, their mother. And now you feel you started, like, this live. Like, I need some fun. I need some adventure. And here we are. For real. Thank God. Like, yeah, I need some fun. I need some adventure. I got to talk about it. I got to have a little fun with you guys. And this, that was... You know why I can't get mad when I don't have, like, a... Like, when I get bored sometimes, I'm like, yo... I look back at all the stuff I've done. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's never ending, the stories. I can go on for years. Like, I could sit here and be like... Because <sighs> I know people have, like, moments in their life when they're like, this happens to me, that happens to me. I have about, like, I would say 10, good, 10 years of my life where I could tell you every week was an adventure like this happened and that happened i remember when this happened and that happened and this happened and that oh yeah and this and then and then that leads to another story it's non-stop and i'm not saying that like to show up for nothing but that's a real fact like my life has been eventful yo it's been an eventful life and it's just started like this is the part of my life where i started um <laughs> no yeah exactly they don't get money out there you know what i'm saying they don't but this this part of my life just started. This this adventure just started. This is a t different part of my adventure. That was all growing up, learning, fun, and now it's like I learned lessons. I've done this. I'm the, now that now I know what I want out of life. 
I know where I'm going pretty much, you know. Sometimes I question, I don't know, I don't know. But I know where I'm going, you know. So I guess, <clears throat> I guess it's just life, right? I guess, like, you know what I mean? I, and this is not, it's crazy because I know I've had thousands of lifetimes. I've been practicing for whatever I'm doing in this lifetime for a lot of lifetimes. This is like hundreds of years of practice. That's why I like always get like, crazy because i know that i've been practicing to do this spiritual stuff and awaken like this I, I think that i've been practicing every lifetime to get deeper and deeper within this lifetime they wanted me kind of or i think this lifetime they kind of wanted me to like enjoy life more because i already did the heavy spiritual stuff in other lifetimes and sometimes i suffered for it so they're like okay just enjoy it in this lifetime but i don't know i'm still trying to figure that shit out what should be the title of my book <clears throat> The title of my book, I wanted to make as real as it gets. Right? I wanted to name it a memoir. <laughs> Life of my ass over memoir. No, I wanted to name it as real as it gets. And then, and then on the bottom would be like tales, tales of a ba of a bad girl gone good, then back to bad, then back to good again. <laughs> like I really wanted to name it like that. Um, <clears throat> as I was just gonna, um, I was gonna name it like as real as it gets, like in small letters. And then a story of a bad girl gone good, then gone bad, then back to good, then back to like something like that. Real short, a story of a bad girl gone, of a, oh, no, I'm sorry, a story of a good girl gone bad, then back to good, back to bad again, and back, and I don't know, something like that with like bad, good, good, bad, like, cause that's really how it was. I was an angel, the devil, <laughs> the devil, the angel, the angel, the devil, the days, the little, I went back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go, you guys. I love you. I just wanted to, I guess, I'm, I'm, I'm saving this live because this was kind of funny. I want people to hear it, guys. This is what's gonna be in my book. Look forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. Swas, sla, uh, slap twice in Albania memoir. No, Donica. You know what's funny? I'm gonna have chapters, right? So, like one chapter is gonna be. The, this is the sad part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be named like that. It's going to be funny like that. Simple, you know, real simple. So people could, it could be easy read, but like good. So the beginning of it for my child will be, it will say like, this is the sad part. You know, obviously talking about my dad, him dying over there and us coming back here. And it's like, this is the confusing part, right? And then this is the learning English part or like stuff like real simple, funny, but like it will literally go with, and the chapters will be real small because I'm, I'm going to talk about the most important parts of those chapters in my life. And it'll be like me in America learning to speak. And then the first time I came, when I first came to America, the first thing, what happens to me? I beat up the school bully and then I end up being, being known as the bully beater, me and my sister from the age of like when I came to America till like when I left Staten Island, people would call me the bully beater because I would always fight bullies, always. I I'm like you're not gonna bully her and then i so that what happens i come from america the girl asked me for her book real quick she asked me for the book and she goes give me my book back i said what i was like she's thought you and i didn't know what she was saying so in english in albanian i said to the albanian girl she's thought like what the fuck is she saying you know what i'm saying slap twice in albania the chapter should be that you should i will name it slap twice in albania you see this is why i need you motherfuckers bro because when i do this i can't i can't do it alone i need people around me you know what would be the best way to write a book is to sit down with a couple of people on different days and talk about stories and record it and then just write it down after that's the best way to write a book or to sit down with people, tell stories, and have like a person who writes. You know those um so not the those people that wrote in the courtrooms. They know how to shorten stuff so they can write the book for you while you're talking. Cause bitch, I can't write as fast as I talk. Are you crazy? I'll be sitting there for ten days. <clears throat> um, I'll speak on the flower of life next time. The flower of life. I really don't know much about it. Like it's a flower. It's the flower of life. It's life and a flower. And it's I think it comes from the Kabbalah, the tree of life, or something. I don't fucking know. I don't really get into that type of stuff. When I do research, I look more into like history and why we be, why we as humans do this. And I look into aliens and Lemuria and Atlantis and things like that. Okay, so um, so like I was saying, the girl, real quick, the girl was like in my book, so I didn't understand what she was. Um, that's great, sunflower. I love that. The girl, I didn't, I didn't understand what she was saying. So I said to Albanian girl, "What the fuck is she saying to me?" And she said, "Yo." Your live cracked me up. I was in Kosovo as well, September, and it's all good. Somebody's texting me. I love when that happens when you're alive. And she goes, um, she goes, she's telling you to give her her book back. I was like, and I said in Albania, you know, when you come from Albania, we're not the same as here. Like we're very, no, this is mine. You know, I was like, I was like, 
can we speak about moon signs? What about moon signs? That's your that's how that's your emotions. That's how you feel. So like for instance, I'm an Aquarius moon. So if you're looking at the if you're looking at the sun sign, I did this, guys. I did this whole astrology video. It says astrology for dummies. Watch it. When you're talking about the sun sign, the sun sign is how how you're viewed, how people see you. Your rising sign is how the world, how you view the world, like how, you know what I'm saying? It's the sun sign is your ego, right? Sun, Leo, Leo is ego, ego, sun, Leo. Um, the rising sign is how you portray, like when you're in your power, like how you step up to things, how you handle life, like how the world sees you, how it views you. Your moon sign is your emotions, how you deal with your emotions, okay? Your Venus is how you handle love. Your Jupiter, Saturn, they all represent different things. So just look at like I was doing that, you know. Anyway, um, I love you guys, but I'm I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Um, uh, tomorrow is the Angel Squad um, Zoom meeting. So if anybody wants to join, you could join that. You know, get some advice there and stuff. I love you guys. All right. Yeah, exactly. How the world sees you and how you come off to others is rising. Thank you, Donica. Well, I don't know what just happened. As soon as I got on this live, my legs started hurting. It's weird, right? And my and my jaw, like, it's... Y'all motherfuckers. Sometimes, yo, I'm like, why do I sound like I'm getting sick? Does anybody hear that? I feel like I'm getting sick. Oh, no, guys. This is that spiritual shit. Like, oh, I'm shifting to the next dimension. That's what's going on here. I feel like I'm getting sick. It's weird. All right, guys. I love you. I got to go, all right? I love you guys. Thank you for listening to my shitty ass stories. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Love and like. I'll see you tomorrow. The outfit is stuff and a pair of sweats and a shirt. <laughs> There's no ass there. Sorry, guys. Sorry to disappoint y'all. All right. I love you guys. Good night. Good night. Bye, Miguel. Bye, Resilience. Bye, everybody. Love you. Donna, I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, guys. Gina, Hood Hippie, everybody, everybody, um, Ms. B, I love you, boo-boo, Marcus, and Astral, and everybody, I love y'all, I'll talk to you guys later, thank you, I am, I am, I'm gonna drink some tea, and I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink some, um, Kanye pepper, I mean, um, hot, red chili peppers to get this, um, if it, if I'm getting sick, all right, I love you, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>